So someone asked me about a simple content plan, you know, not for a launch strategy, but just for like a weekly calendar for posting. And I want to keep it, well, they asked me for a simple one. So I'm going to give you a simple one that's so simple that I don't need to show anything on the screen because it's that simple. It's, uh, and this person said, okay, I want to post to Facebook and Instagram. You can add whatever platform you enjoy, LinkedIn, YouTube, Medium. Choose the platforms that you enjoy, <laughs> step one, that you actually enjoy. And then step two is to say once a week to each platform. And the simplest plan is to post the same thing to each of your platforms once a week. I've just given you a content plan that most solopreneurs don't even follow because the key is consistency. Because from consistency comes self-understanding and true audience growth. Without consistency, it's hard to develop an audience, number one. But number two, it's hard to develop uh, enough of a rhythm of exploration that you actually learn uh, learn what you need to about yourself and your business to have you know, con some content take off and go, oh my God, that made my career. You know, I always like to say, you know, in every in, in every 40 pieces of content you create, there's going to be one career maker for you. So um, so let me continue on the simple plan. So again, one piece a week to each of the platforms that you enjoy can be the same thing. Same topic, same, same thing. So if you say, oh, I enjoy both, you know, posting on writing on, on uh, LinkedIn, and I also enjoy making YouTube videos, great. Then you take the same thing you wrote, you, you decide you, whether you want to write first and then record a video, or you want to record a video and then write first, it's up to you. Um, you know, I used to have really hard time with writer's block. So I always recorded myself talking first. And then I said, okay, basically I said this. Um, and then over the years, I learned how to overcome my writer's block by writing a lot. And now I can write first. And then I record a video on that. It doesn't matter. So it's like, that's the simplest thing. So one piece of content to each of the platforms per week. So that's part of the plan. And then the second part of the plan is once a month. Okay, once a month, you look back at your four pieces or technically more like eight to 12 pieces because you're posting one, the same thing to one to two or three platforms, right? So you look back once a month to all the content you posted and you observe which of those pieces did better than the rest. So this is where you're looking at the metrics and go, hmm, I typically get zero likes on my you know, LinkedIn posts. This one got one like. Okay, that says something. One is better than zero. Or hmm, typically I get, you know, five likes on Facebook. This one got 10 likes, seven, 10, 15 likes. What is it about that one? You write it down. You write down the ones that perform the best. Just over time, you just keep a, do a document. This one, this one, this one did well. This one did well. This one did well. This one did well. And then you notice what the patterns are. So once a month, like I said, you look back, you write down the best performing ones of the past month, and you compare it to the other best performing ones. And you ask yourself, is what is the pattern here? Is it the way I approach the topic? Is it a topic itself? Is it the format? Meaning, is it video versus writing? What's what, you know, is it short versus long? Like, what's the what's the the, the pattern here? And therefore, how can I do more of that in the coming month? So there you go. That's, the, that's a very simple content plan, and most people aren't even doing this. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. One, one last part of the content plan. So you, I said once a week, you, you do something, right, on the multiple platforms that you, you, you enjoy. Second is to once a month, take note of what worked the best in the previous month. And then the third step is to uh, do, uh, take the best of what happened in the past month Okay, sorry. The third step is to take the best of what happened three months ago, take the best from three months ago and redo it. Like take the article that worked well and make some edits and repost it. Or take the video that worked really well and turn it into an article if you didn't already do so. So a simple three-step plan, post every single week, just once a week to, to one, two, or three, or four platforms that you enjoy. Step two, once a month, write down what worked best in the past month. And then step three is to take the best of three months ago. So it's, it's kind of far away by this point. Take the best of three months ago, 
make some improvements, repost it everywhere and put ads behind that best performing one if you can, but ads to put in front of more people. So hope this helps.